All right, Andrew Cruz here again, and welcome to your new funnel creation board. So I'm going to make some optimizations with you guys here because this is a board that we want to optimize. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So you have one page, it's called funnels here, that's all around creating your funnels. And it will also tell you the amount of days you have remaining, the status for that funnel, who's responsible. And then we like to put in uh, purpose and description, just any details in there. Then we have an intention. Is it a book of call? Is it a lead magnet, purchase funnel, fulfillment funnel, uh, what have you? And you can easily change those here by hitting edit. And then we have the progress. So the target and the actual right here. So when we make some headway on there, then we can change the progress and then we can see how far along we are with that funnel. We also have the stages, which you can change here. We're still optimizing this, but is it in research, outline, pages created, videos created, email, text setup, launch, and complete? When it is moved to complete, this is really helpful for all your team members. They have one central location to go to any funnel that they wanna find, whether that's a book a call funnel or a lead magnet funnel, purchase funnel, fulfillment, what have you. Your team members now know to go to that section to find that, find that funnel. Um, so it helps your marketing team, it helps your sales team, helps you stay super organized. Now there's one more category here under the status, which is um, uh, if you need to update a funnel, we have one more section right there um, to update these funnels. So I hope that makes sense. And now let's make some optimizations. So one thing that we probably want to add here is to connect it to tasks so we can have tasks for each funnel. So what I'll do here, let's see if we have it already, tasks. Okay, we already have it connected. So I'm going to turn that on right there. And then what I'm going to do is go over to tasks right here and add in a new view just for tasks. So I'm going to duplicate this, and I mean just for funnels. So tornado, funnels, and then I'm going to filter this by funnels is not empty. So now we have a section for uh, tasks for funnel creation, Boom. and then we want to group it by which funnel uh, it's connected to. And then we want to hide this field right here and add in the funnel field. There we go. And we'll move this over here. So then we can say, let's add in the general call booking funnel. Boom. Um, or actually, let's add in a funnel that we're working on. We can easily see the progress there for the funnels. Um, and let's do the uh, referral partner funnel. So I can say review the referral partner document. I can find that referral partner overview document. <clears throat> Boom. And add in the who's responsible, which would be Arlie, add in the details, um, and hit when this is due, impact urgency, and then create outline for referral partner funnel. And then I can give her more details on that. But now we have a couple of tasks that we can delegate super quickly for funnels. And let's just make sure that this is a collaborative view. And we'll go back to the funnels tab. Let's go here. And we can then update this by hitting um, the plus button 
and say number of tasks um, and do a count field from tasks and that will count up the number of tasks that we've added in there and then we can duplicate this and say number of check completed tasks and then we want to filter by uh, status of that task being complete and then we can easily create a progress bar for this so i'll call it task progress and then we will do a formula of uh, completed tasks divided by number of tasks. And then in formatting, we want to do a percentage, open that up, and then do some colors here. So let's just make it simple. Anything under uh, 75 is yellow and then anything above 75 will be green. Um, and we can change this carrot around. There we go. And then green is good. So now we've created a nice little progress bar as well for the completed tasks. So then we have a section for that um, and what I could do is duplicate this and call this <clears throat> funnel tasks, boom, hide all, responsible, task progress, let's look at all the tasks, boom. There we go. So now we have our own little section for the tasks and we probably want to put in status. There we go. And this is now a little off track. And we also want to add in the finish date Boom. right there. Perfect. So now you have a funnel dashboard with tasks and also completed uh, funnels for your team. And now you're good to go to outline and build out some funnels. So I hope that was helpful. I wanted to do a little training on this one and I will see you in the next one.